Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now it's such an exciting time for us here at Wazobia Max because in partnership with the Real Time Film Festival, we are bringing you a vibe from the 24th to the 30th of this month. Now yesterday we had the EastEnders coming in to speak to us about the Real Time Film Festival and today we have two representatives from the Da Vinci crew. We have Paul Amori, a film director, and we have Crystal Gotti sitting with us in the studio today. How are you both doing? Fine. Good Thank to have you. Joining us. Are you very excited about this? Yeah, we're very excited. <laughs> Yesterday we had the East Enders, of course. We had a representative of the East Enders, and he came to tell us why we needed to vote him and what to expect. So hopefully they would convince us differently <laughs> or not. By the end of the day, this is their election platform, and they're about to declare mm -hmm. their campaign mode. <laughs> campaign mode. <laughs> campaign mode. Good to have you. Okay, over to you. Tell us a bit more about the Da Vinci Crew and what you're getting up to in relation with the Real Time Film Festival. Okay. Um... Thank you for this platform. The Da Vinci Crew is a, the Da Vinci Crew is a team of uh, filmmakers and um, actors. You know, we came together to form this group for the film the real time film festival, and uh, we have a very uh, unique storyline story to to pitch for the, to win this uh, competition. And I believe everybody will like our story. And uh, we have good actors on our teams. And on our team, we have good um, filmmakers, film crew members. You know, we believe we are going to do well. So if I find, if I hear you correctly, basically what happens is there are different crews made up of um, different crews are competing for the grand prize at yes, the Real Time Film yes. Festival. And the group is made up of actors, directors, and basically a complete team that is needed to produce a masterpiece film. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you what your idea is. What role are you? Are you an actor or? I'm an actress. Oh, really? <laughs> so yes. tell us, how did you, um, first of all, when you were put, when you were, how were you cast into the crew, basically? Um, okay, so what happened was when the festival came forth, um, he reached out to me. And he said he would like me to be on board. I don't think there was a proper audition because there was no time for it. So what happens is you pick actors that you, you're already familiar with and you know their capacity. That's how I came on board. Okay. And the theme for the Real Time Film Festival this year is stories that touch. Now, as broad as that is, it can also be very uh, conduced down to something. What exactly does that theme mean to you? Where does it resonate within you? Okay. Um, when we heard of that name, Stories That Touch. The first thing that came to our mind is to come up with a story that will sink in, um, I will tell very well about the theme. So we came up with a story. And uh, the story we came up with is a story on uh, uh, jungle, just, ju jungle justice. Do you want to tell your story that you're going to use for the competition now? No, no, no. We are not, I'm not okay, telling Okay, this is not the story. No, this is not the story. Okay. I'm just giving a clue because she asked a question okay. on. So well, we we are looking at telling this story, and we are looking at people feeling our story, and uh, because it's a situational story, a story that could happen to anybody, you know, and it's not like it was a. Um, it can happen to anybody. We have heard of the Apple Four. The Alu Four, yeah. Alu Four, yeah. okay. You know, we heard of what happened to them. This is, this is a, from a different perspective altogether. So what we are trying to also tell is that this thing could happen in another form and uh, could happen to you, anybody. Very true. I know it's easy for us to say, God forbid, because the moment you say it could happen to you, <laughs> I wanted to just quickly say, God forbid, it cannot happen to me. <laughs> but if we don't tell the stories, at the end of the day, we find that it finds a way of coming back to us or to yes. our community, yes. or the people that we love. Mm -hmm. As an actor, first of all, tell me, how does it make you feel being an actor? Someone says, oh, I used to say that acting is such a powerful tool because it allows you to be anybody exactly. and everybody. When you get to take, take us through the process of you preparing to deliver a script. Okay, like you said, um, it's a tool, powerful tool, you know. So it's every time I get a script, every time I get a script, I look into the script, and I'm so excited because it gives me an opportunity to be somebody else. Different people at different times. So first things first, I get my lines because I, I do not want to be rehearsing with my script. It distracts you, take your, it takes your attention away from, you know, really acting or reenacting that, that script or that story. So understanding the script, understanding the story is, my first, is the first thing that I do. Once I get that, I, I'm, I'm ready for my blockings and delivery. 
And what does it take for you to bring yourself out of your comfort zone and say, you know what, I'm not Crystal right now, I'm X, Y, or Z, and I'm going to deliver? Uh, what does it take me? I think it's just the passion, basically. Like I said, I'm always excited to tell a story, something interesting, something different, not the regular glam, you know. So once it's a challenging story, I'm very excited to see how I can be that person at, at the moment. Okay, let's talk to the director. Usually there are directors that don't like when actors try to replace certain lines. You want the, di the actor to re give your line to you verbatim, word for word. What kind of director are you? Uh, I'm a, I like creativity. I like it when an actor brings his or her own creativity on board. I don't want, if you are, if you are just, um, I don't want stereotype. I like it when you, for, before I choose you to act for me, I must have seen something creative about you. I must have feel like this, this person is a method, you know, he or she has a method and can deliver. So it's just like bringing somebody to come and read a story. Like, I don't like that. So what did you say, Crystal? But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's always good for proper editing. You know, you know it's, it's wanting to say something and for proper editing of the stories. Maybe when you after shooting, it's always it helps when the word syncs with what we have on the script. Because if you if you are saying something different every time, that is diff something different from what's on the script, and using your own languages, it will be very difficult for editing. You asked me a question just yes, now. Yes, what did you say, Crystal? Okay, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I have seen some of her films. She 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 has acted acted in one. Um, in one new film that has just been nominated for for AMA. Mm, so, congratulations, and, uh, girl! <laughs> so, Actually, that deserves an applause. <laughs> yes, and um, I know she can deliver. That's why I called her for sand. You know, she has actually uh, been to my audition before, a long time ago. So, and I know she has done something to make me feel like, okay, this girl can deliver. And if you check the story we have on on board that's if the story is made for her so i believe she can deliver that's brilliant now yes. truncated that's one of your pieces of art that yes. you spent a lot of time working on yeah. let's throw to that quickly and when we are back we'll be speaking more about the real time film festival and the da vinci crew okay i like when i see things like this because we need to keep telling these stories storytellers need to talk about realistic things yeah. things that are happening in the society and from what i can see there it looks like a story of abuse yeah. and in case how how is she meant to be yeah, that film. 15 years. And I would say that's also child labor. That is child labor. You bring her to yeah. your house to work for you and yeah. you're abusing her as well. Yeah. And, and the, according to the storyline, that's our elder sister's daughter. You know, some of, some, some of these uh, aunties, they will just go to their, their village and get one, one of their, maybe their sister is not well to do like that, you know get one of their daughters and say, I want to train her, I want to, I won't worry, she will go to the best school in Lagos. But, you know, when they get to Lagos, they just put her inside the house. And beat. And be washing plates or the light walking. Out on <laughs> now, we shed a light on these issues and we bring them to the forefront. And it's one thing to create a movie around it to ensure that the public are aware of the depth of the prevalence of things like child labor and modern slavery. How do we then take that second step to ensure that, you know what, our job here is not done. We need to ensure that we are also reducing the prevalence of this heinous act. Because clearly it's something you're passionate about to write a film on. Yeah, what we, when we did this short film, the idea was that we we wanted to spread it around all TV stations, you know, across, so that everybody would get a feel of it, and um, we will send a message to those villages too. I, I think that's actually a fantastic way to yeah. do this. You spread the word out, people yeah. get to hear it, and then yeah. you create more awareness about that. Now you're the Da Vinci crew, and you'd want people to vote for you at the Real Time Festival. How can they get to do this? Would, is it on the day they'll find out? On the day of the final competition? <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know if there, there's going to be voting. I'm just getting to know that. There, okay, oh, great. Now. All right. So, whoever, people who are going to attend, we're hoping that they get to see reasons why they should root for you. I yeah. wish you all the best with your work. For people yeah. who want to find out more information on both of you and what you're up to, how can they get to do that? Um, my Instagram, I gave my, my What's Instagram, Instagram handle? It's um, St. Crystal underscore the mannequin. St. 
Say it again. Saint Crystal. Oh, that's called the mannequin. Yes. Are you a mannequin? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I and Paul, what's yours? <laughs> at Paula Mori on um, Instagram, at Paula, at Paula Mori one on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank we you definitely wish you the best at the Real Time Festival, and right. we look forward to seeing your works Thank being displayed you. not just in Nigeria, but at international film festivals around the world. Okay. Thank Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.